Boom, 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 Cora got waxed. But another news, Pabu and Polar Dog. Look at the baby lemur. Cora got to overcome her PTSD because she was way stronger in book three, I feel like. Her long hair and her like bad bitch mode. Sore eyes. Bumju and I sure you. Bumju. Because so I feel like she's weaker because of her PTSD. Proud enough to get me my tag? Yes, uh Oh, come on, bro. Have to stop her. She was not. I feel like such a failure. No one Man, Cora stay getting fucked over, bro. Like she stays like getting fucked up. Whether it's like metal in her fucking body, losing her bending, losing her ability to talk to the avatars. Ain't no way he's what the for a while. Bro's beard you know, grew instantly. Republic City with Julie. She carried me 20 miles in one day. <laughs> Holy shit. Your ankle. Bro piggybacking a grown man That's for a right. marathon. Leave me here, let the worms gobble me up. Damn, bro's actually distraught. No, but you know how we're gonna make it up to the world? By going how? back to Republic City Max. and warning everyone what she's up to. Max. So, uh, and march with me out of this forest. It's the it's the time for the boys, baby. Take the driver's seat for a while. Hop on. <laughs> the driver's seat. My could use a break. City boys up. Zuli's down. He's up. Literally. Are you kidding He's me? up. <laughs> Ain't no way, bro. God damn. Only three years. Salami. Salami, mommy. So good to see you again. You too. And I'm loving. I like Cora's hair. Well, I like. Mm, I like her longer hair better. Obviously, I'm just like that's just a, my type. But I feel like she just looks weird in her old outfit with the blue, with the short hair. The short hair kind of matched the green outfit because it was different. But now it just looks weird to me. You're looking snazzy as always. Snazzy. Mako got us a table at the restaurant. Cora. Hi, Mako. <laughs> my day be so fine. Then boom, Mako appears. Hello, my day be so fine. Then boom, Prez Wo appears, and he makes it better. And this guy's boss. <laughs> I bet he's told you a lot about me. I can't believe Mako's getting f up then we have with this dude too. Mako's getting completely f by being with him, and Bolino's getting completely f by helping the Nazis. It's crazy to me, you know. Pretty crazy to me, you know. Hey, pop into the Avatar state for me. I want to see your eyes glow. What? Dude, I hate people like him. I was worried when you told me you couldn't. Well, wait. The when did she tell you she couldn't? Damn! Wrote to Asami while I was away. I asked her not to tell you. City Sorry. girls up. I, ever... I guess I didn't know what to say. Hello would have been nice. That's f up. up. If it makes you feel any better, she didn't write me either. Bro, Why shut she... up. My... That's f Sorry up, dude. Tattoos. I went to visit my father for the first time. Dude. Been writing dude. And okay. Re I... Respectfully. Respectfully. Who? Asked. I don't care. And every time you have to empty your royal bladder, go to the bathroom on your own for once. Real homies hold hands while they piss. There in the general vicinity while he. I don't want to talk about it. Mako and Bowling getting f up. <laughs> Ain't no way, dude. You know who else has incisors sharp as a knife? Julie. Julie. <laughs> God damn. Why would we free a couple of lowly earth empires? Damn, she kind of shredded. You know, you see that shoulder cap she got? Bro looks like Jet. Jeez. Dude, any interaction with these three makes me want to die, bro. It's my least favorite thing about the show is these three. Ever since season one, it's been like, please separate them. You can't tell me bro dates both of them, cheats on both of them, and then decides, oh, you know what? We're all friends now. That's not how that shit works, man. I to miss out on lunch. I'll go check on him. Maybe it's because when I think about myself in that position, I'm like, you mean to tell me I'm going to get cheated on with a girl, then hang out with the girl and the Whoa. girl she cheated, the guy she cheated on me with? Why? Ain't no fucking way, dude crazy to me you know i'll be right back what about that man alerted any sort of suspicion he looks like a normal ass dude sorry miss I haven't seen him oh she's right what the f ah! 
my damn! Dude! <laughs> Holy shit! Bro, tank that shit? Okay, but what if she earthbends it down? She's not gonna do that? Okay. So true. What the f Marco? Shut the f up, bro. What? 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 Where is he? <laughs> Holy fuck! This guy was the only one in the truck. Where? Where Wu go? Free Wu. We ain't do nothing. That bro Mako was like, Cora, sit down. I know you're the avatar trying to stop this guy and save the prince, but sit down. I'm pretty sure his checks and balances for that, sir. I don't think you just instantly charge him. I think he's got to go through his judicial system, but maybe Mako knows more than I do. Look at these things. It's the world tree. Holy fuck. Bro, <laughs> drooling. They'll explain on the way. Just drive. We're running out of time. Hog. The circle thing lasted like less than a day. Will you at least? How do they know who's in the inner circle? Damn. Damn. God damn. Holy shit. The lava bending is insane, dude. Lava time. That you didn't That's so that. fire. Get it? Because lava is. You get insta cool right. too. That's Where's cool. So the, the what I was confused about was the tree was going like through the whole entire underground city. Uh, which train is Wu on? I don't know. Should you got another tree to touch? We help you. You sure can. We captured these escaped prisoners. We need to get them. Bro, it seems so serious. Where Camp 14 is? Kuvira wants them transferred. Facts. See the transfer order. God damn. Listen, pal. I can fight off two badger moles, six wolf bats, and eighteen hog monkey. So sorry if I don't have the paperwork. I was too busy cramming it in a hog monkey's mouth. Facts. Trying to eat me. Facts. I am in sore need of a shower. And Facts. I have blisters that are the size of cantaloupes and twice as juicy. So juicy. Let us through. Comes to soldiers who question her orders, don't you? Bad stuff. Facts. There are so many metal benders now. It's kind of crazy, you know. Common Varric W. Um, well, there's their wanna poster right there. Did he did not even shave? You will not believe this shit. Wait, stop them! They're traitors to the Empire! <laughs> oh, hit the dash! Well, that did not last long. Where did you get water from? I just wait for Bolin's lava, bro. I'm waiting for it. I'm sitting here waiting for it. I'm his biggest fan. Never one fan. Where is she getting this water from? RIP. Oh yeah! That's what we've been waiting for. Oh no! They jumped over it. Common Varric W moment with a screwdriver. Okay. All right. I'm following. For sure, dude. Bro is rolling. There's no way that thing is that agile. That's crazy. Bro made an EMP. Holy shit. <laughs> I still got that Varric touch. Common Varric W. Jeez, god damn! God damn! Look how much lava he can make! Holy shit! Oh, she doesn't need a tree? How does that work? I thought she had to go through a tree. I don't really get it, but. Because they don't even have like any like really serious, like super hardcore, like really thought provoking fights. They just have like, well, it's not my fault. Well, it's sure not my fault. So it's gotta be your fault. Fights. And it's like, not even, You're it's not even train. cool or thought provoking. It just, who cares, bro? It's just kidnaps. I'm not going up there. Ah. God damn it. 
<laughs> she could have killed his ass. Now, what if Core just bended the metal downward? Or that. <laughs> that works too. Dude, I hate the look of his face. Not exactly what I imagined for our first date. Bro, god damn. I'm sorry things got so tense earlier. It's all right. Bro, instantly apologize. Great to have you back. There's no place else I'd rather be. Group hug. <laughs> Dead ass group hug. Unironic group hug moment. I think I know just the place. Dude, I fucking hate this dude. I hate Woo, bruh. Are you? Typical boomer, bruh. Boomer who loves royalty for the whole reason of loving royalty. On that hunk of junk? No, thanks. Bro, bro's face. This area is overrun with spirit vines. Nerd emoji. Nerd emoji. Nerd emoji. Perfect. Nerd emoji. Harvest these vines until there's Nerd emoji. Left. Nerd emoji times ten, bro. Oh, that's where Toff's at, right? Oh my god, dude! Toph is not going to let this shit slide. Yeah, she's an old granny, but she is not going to let this slide. All right, that was episode seven. More kind of cringe moments with Mako and Cora and Salami. Honestly, I think it's because they fight over petty shit all the time. And if I wanted to see that, I could just go and look at social media at any point, at any time if I want to in real life. And also, it's the fact that their whole relationship, their whole like status is a fucking like love thing. Like, it's not even a triangle. It's just like they've been, been cheating on each other and fucking fucking each other. And it's just cringe to me because the sec, because cheating is so disrespectful and it's so disgusting to me that it's just like, ew, bruh. Ew, man. I'd rather watch a show where Core gets cheated on and fucking cuts the guy off and never speaks to him again or the other way around or. I don't like I don't like that <laughs> personally my personal opinion and it's not something that just goes away I'm there forever in my mind a cheater I ain't saying once a cheater always a cheater but once a cheater you ain't never talking to me again motherfucker you ain't ever speaking you ain't even gonna be in my vicinity ever again that's how much I hate cheating it's like the ultimate form of disrespect and I've been that way since I was like since I learned what relationships were been that way I think that's why I find it so cringe with them. I never like Mako interacting with Korra. I never like Salami interacting with Korra. Like the dude, like I've said this multiple times about the series, but like the dude, the woman that you got cheated on with, you're now friends with? I don't know, bro. It's just cringe to me. Maybe it's because I've been through being cheated on and it fucking sucks and it hurts and the amount of betrayal you feel is like insurmountable. But I don't know, bro. It's just my opinion. People, different people have different experiences. Some people are some people are into NTR. They're into cheating and shit. Have fun with that, I guess. But me, on the other hand, me, I'ma turn up. Wando Dingo here. We're almost done with Korra. Season one and season three were really good. Kuvira, I'm kind of like just concerned, dude. <laughs> Bro, built like brick for real. God, <laughs> did a flip. Bro, this has got to be one of my least. <laughs> Dude, I fucking hate this guy. But also, he kind of is funny. He's kind of a little funny. Dude. Woo down. But it's not my fault. I was Yeah, it's all genetics. Why is that? I do kind of like him, though. He is like Uso. What? You Dude, do not, do not, do not, do not. There's no need. Do not bring it back up. Right they didn't learn for season one. Don't bring it back up. Don't bring it. Why are you never bring it back up to me? Why are you bring it back up to me? Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? Why are we reliving these nightmares? Yes. Please let me tell the story. 
Why are we why are we doing this to me right now? Bro's whole personality trait is liking Cora. Is this a recap episode? Is this a recap episode? Dude, no way I'm sitting. No way I'm sitting through all this. You will you got me fucked. Nah. I refuse, bro. Why would I sit through seven minutes of recap the, of the shit that I hate of this? This is my least favorite part of the episode or the series of the whole series. My least favorite. I ain't, I ain't watching this shit. I'm sorry. Oh, it all is recap. It's all a recap. LMAO. That's actually how it went down. The queen of the fairies. Are magic fairy dust? Are you guys crazy? Are you crazy? Are you? Just a Never let the Bolin, just like me for real, bro. Just like me for real. I was like, are you dead ass? She came from the sky? And all the comments were like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, sweaty. Actually, you just hate woman. And I'm like, you know I mean? I've never been called a misogynist more than not liking Korra. It's like, I can't, I can't dislike her. I gotta dislike her group. Like, Truth. Get in the way huh? Good huh? Bro, trying to make me out to be Andrew Tate just because I dislike Cora. Like, I ain't out here saying I own woman. What the fuck you talking about? They're all like 12 to 16 year olds, though. We cannot handle criticism on. I guarantee you, it cannot be their favorite show. If your favorite show is Cora, then you. Cora, Cora Max? Cora Max season one is like a seven out of ten. I enjoyed it. Season two is like two out of ten. Season three, better than season one, like an eight out of ten. Season four so far, I can't rate it yet. You know, it's not it's not terrible, but it's not my favorite anime or show ever. Bro. This dude watched Tokyo Avengers one time and was like, damn, that shit sick. I gotta get that. To be fair. I watched a lot of the beginning of season three um, in one sitting because I actually was enjoying season three. But also my humor for the day, because my, you know, my humor changes. I'm not the same person every single fucking day. Maybe it makes me psychotic. I don't know. But I was just being like dry, like dry humor. And people did not enjoy that. I thought it was pretty funny. Excuse Bro does not get paid enough for this shit. Spirit world right now. <sighs> no. Uh, is the spirit world in the ground below us? No. Can I I'm gonna poke it with a <laughs> <laughs> Bro, just like me for real. Bro better die. Ah, what? Kill him. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so the tree is moving. I like Cora. You know, I think I said a couple episodes ago, I just like Cora and her long hair, the blue fit. I like the blue fit maybe more than the green fit. I don't know why. Has my the blue fit no kind of fire. Seems to care but me. Even with the haircut. We all care. Don't worry. The long the, the short hair is growing off on me too. Before you felt a disturbance? Maybe a disturbance in the force. I <laughs> watched Star Wars. No. But See, it still hasn't it still hasn't explained why Janora is so insanely gifted, right? Or did I like blink that out when I was in my Janora hating stage? Reading. How does she have a spider sense for energy? Or is there just like another bending that she just she just be feeling it? Oh, so the oh, so the tree's fighting back because of them. Okay. Where's Toph? She gotta come fuck some shit up. What is it? Are you okay? It was Because she's related to Aang. I, saw her I can think of at least one other person who is as well. Maybe wild. more. For Ryu and the others. We're gonna put a whole war on that bitch. The United you. Allies versus Kuvira. Tell her she won an all expense paid vacation to a tropical. He's funny. But like, goddamn. <laughs> he's funny, but he's so fucking annoying, dude. Like, bro, I hate him, but he's kind of funny. Of course you wouldn't. Of course you wouldn't, Mr. Pacifist person. So if Tenzin's a pacifist, who would be the aggressive? Oh, hey, Avatar. Hey, no. Bro, shut up. Back into action a little too soon. It did. Again. She did get waxed by Kuvir. And she shouldn't though, bro. She's Avatar. That's how you know she's not all right. Barge in whatever they want. <sighs> bro, oh, kill the president. How do they get back? Bolin? At the what perfect time. 
What the fuck are they doing? So dramatic. Okay, no music. That, that, that was funny as fuck. Kavira's making this thing that goes so true. Oh my god. But it has this. Oh my god. She figures out how to harness their shirt better come out for real for real. To the world. She has to be stopped. Fellas, I'm not gonna give my opinion, but what are you saying? Are you saying you attack her or you don't attack her? Be part of an unprovoked attack. Because you say it's unprovoked, but how long is unprovoked unprovoked? Is unprovoked when they obtain nuclear weapons and then they like blow your fucking city the fuck up? Is that when you attack now? Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Into another one unless there's no other there, like America's had that cycle of like of, of, of the history that I know of anyway of like being in people's business and then not being in people's business and being in people's business and like preemptively doing shit and then like everybody being like, no, stop fucking doing that shit. So they're going to be defending. I just want to say that Earth Kingdom and topple your home and get your mom captured. Bro, and your stop. And your Bro, dad. stop. We'll have to do it alone. Damn. Bolin, I'm so glad you're back. Sue wants to go alone. Vera kicked my butt. No one even wants me around. <laughs> yeah, they still have anything good for is helping. And they can't do that. God damn. Oh, they actually got her ass. Believe it or not, straight to Brazil. To Mater had envisioned. God damn! How do you even fight these fucking trees? Dude, the bending does. Oh wait, it does do some. Yeah, score. Yeah, Cora's book is 100,000, 10 percent, thousand percent lower in book four than book three. In book three, she's way weaker. Or book four, she's way weaker right now. The fuck are those? Janora in there. Your spirits are trapped in the spirit world. What? Oh, she's gonna do the spirit bending that she did against uh, in book two. This looks a lot like when she fought, where she fought homeboy. This is where she fought your boys are here. here. The bald man. You can't fight me and the this is just, this is a PTSD again. I never get it out. Is there more? I guess if it was like microscopic, it is possible. Holy shit! I can't get any peace. This is a PTSD. I'm worried for Janora. Bro, okay, I'm. This is not a diss on Cora. Well, you can take it if you wanted to, but she said that to Tenzin so many times and proceeded to get her ass her ass completely waxed that many times. I don't blame Tenzin, but also, okay, if I was Cora, I'd be mad too. I'll be okay. Because Cora is way. Weaker now than book three, but it's because she it is because she got PTSD though. Pop pops, where are you? Pop pops. Babu! Oh, oh, what he fucking oh, jumped? Oh, what was that? So Pabu. Well, it's good to see you too. W Riz? Question mark? Insane Riz? Galactic Riz even? Indomitable Riz. Brought me saying you broke both of your legs was just a ruse. Negative Riz. <laughs> God damn, brother. That's Loki W. And he caught it. Well, he tried. <laughs> he tried, bro. I'm sorry you had to see that, Pabu. It's like when you fight in front of the kids. She's just such an aquarium. That's it. That's the only reason why. Actually, I brought you here out of She's a no Sun Leo and a Knight Aquarius. Tried to have me kidnapped. Allegedly. <laughs> right. Innocent until oh, proven guilty. In that building, a man has the right to blow up his own property. Facts. Right now, I need you so to true. your differences. We're going to need the two brightest minds in the world to some merc, to dude. Partners again. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Uh, fucking very bro i like salami at first but then she kind of like i don't know i don't dislike her i think i think it, i don't know are you sure you're ready for this i like varic a lot that's yes. probably just why i'm just laughing at him here's not a threat anymore. that's tough it's impossible to put yourself in core situation unless you have ptsd yourself and i don't so i can't She's a less interesting Suki. Valid or L? Let's see that bald boy. He probably, he probably ain't bald no more unless they keep shaving him for him. Bro got his ass chained up.
But he's flying. Bro, a fucking menace, bro. You got to kill his ass, dude. You got to kill him because he's going to escape one day. Look at him. He's just floating there. I like him with his long hair. Cannot lie. God damn. Bro is rabid. I don't see him scared. She did. She is. She immediately backed up. You can't go into the spirit world. Bro knew what he was doing. Me is a crutch to make you feel better. It is not helping you recover. God damn, bro is chained up, but still in her head, rent free. Holy shit! That poison should have killed you, but you were able to fight it. Is bro her hype man now? The Earth Kingdom has ever seen. Thanks for that. Is that his fault? She needs to be stopped. Is that his fault? If bro was alive, he would not be letting cool. Or if bro was free, he would not be letting Kuvira go around. I think it's the fault of the people who elected her and have not chosen to stop her. No. Let me lead you into why would bro help? No way. I can't trust. That's what I'm saying. Why would he help? I guess he does want to take out Kuvira too. You've come this far. See, that's what I'm saying. Like he, does, he there's no way he likes Kuvira. And if he was still out there, he would probably kill Kuvira's bitch ass too. Cause you must believe he waxing Kuvira. But they chained him up. And they didn't want to stop the dictator, the tyrant. Bro, gotta do it again. I low key. Book three, bro. Holy shit. That was fucking sick. She did it. Do you know where Genora and the others are? Like that. So here just hopped around and dipped. Oh, shit. She never had a run the whole time. I thought she had a little bit, but she didn't have any of it. Holy shit. So here, honestly, clutch as fuck. God damn! Holy shit! If she can TP now and do all this shit, I mean, she is an avatar. She should have been able to do all this shit, but now she knows she can, so she can't now. So she's doing it. It's kind of crazy to me, you know. She's like, "Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot. I am that bitch. Period." And then she did it. Why does poor bro? Whoever wrote that man, I'm sorry. Wasn't Zahir like the one that can TP and shit? The spirit world? So Cora is back! That happened a lot faster than I thought it would. I love you. Thanks for saying all of that. But don't care? You know, there is one thing But do care know. conditionally. Yes, I'll do anything. Come on a secret mission. But do care to save this to fix the problem you caused! Let's go! The Riz! The indomitable Riz! I knew, bro. I knew, bro, could make it up. See, he caused the issue. Now just gotta fix it. That's it. That's episode nine and a little bit of episode eight. That was all recap. Um, I was sick, bro. It's crazy. Zahir and Kor had a common enemy, which is the dictator. See, I wonder what kind of world Zahir would lead. I wonder if he led an anarchist world, if he would realize like how bad it would be and how bad that would turn out with no like government and shit. Like what Zahir's ideal world is, because he helped her out like instantly he just it, like he he helped her so much and she got through it and now she's back i wonder if she's back at like book three power because she is not been bro if she was at book three power she would have beat kuvira i think because kuvira is just like one bending like yeah metal bending strong but Cora has metal bending too she has metal bending and all the other bendings and Cora has a lot of experience like kuvira does so it makes no sense that Cora would lose now hopefully i move from a girl Cora. Cora, peace we're ball mat I can't find it because Cora got her Rava back, baby. On um, period. She a girl boss again. She girl bossing. Look at that snot. Bro is tired. Shut yo bitch ass up. <laughs> Goddamn. I wonder if like metal benders can make like a piece of string of metal so thin but also sharp where they could like <laughs> and then like it like zips their mouth like this, like through their skin. I wonder if I can do that. So no dome. She's got a whole bit of troops stationed there. There's no three way people versus the world. Bother. All the prisoners. Tough. Uh, hey, chief. Hey, chief. Chief? Grandma Tough. Not even a mom. Oh man. <laughs> bro, bro is giddy. Bro is giddy. My name is Bolin. I'm dating your granddaughter. I mean, daughter. Granddaughter. I'm walking here. Okay, makes sense. By the time I got here, they he said, were but. gone. I snooped around. 
But how do you see though? Town and heard that they were taken away to some nearby prison camp. Yeah, no ugly ass op at the back. You end up dating the kind of dipstick who works for dipstick. You can tell you that. Please Bro tell is getting hereditary. undeniably clowned. Grandma, Resolutely clowned. You don't choose your bison. He Jushi. Ew, bro. You, Ew. It's a flying mecha suit. Whoa. Take off straight up. Fly in any direction. I'd like to see a uh, hog monkey type beat. You grab all those people. You're supposed to be the Just bomb Kuvira. Legalize nuclear bombs. Defend it somehow. Hmm. Nuclear okay, weaponize legalize the nuclear weapons. Ready for we be Bro, shut up. That's actually a good but idea. it came from his mouth, so it can't be. Wu, you work with to coordinate getting people out of the city. No well, way he's putting him I in charge of that. Fits. Bro's a goofy goober on God. Nice job in there. I'm proud of you. Look at his ass. Like he's, 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 he's saying like. Imagine if I did reactions like that. I still might get to date her. Huh. You always have to ruin it. Huh. Why do you think great to pick up girls? So true, dude. And I thought Mako was bad. <laughs> Let's test the power. Holy shit! I want everything in order for the full demonstration. They figure out how to do it. What a bunch of lames, man. Oh, it was because Julie. Julia, traitor for real on God. She actually told him how to do it. Shut it down. Unless I feel like Julie Loki working for the good guys. Right, is going to blow. Everyone get okay. Now. Exactly. The three of us Nuclearized. <laughs> Legalized nuclear weapons. Legalized nuclear bombs. No, man. I should have died. Checking everything. Nothing is. Has to be ready by tomorrow. One nerd emoji in chat, please. That's what he sounds like. I just like him. There we go. I got one. Try twenty. Twenty years, bro. Toph is a shitty ass mom. Whoa. You think? Toph just carries. Toph just carries that type of energy, bro. Oh, perfect timing. Jump her ass! Jump her ass, Toph! Toph will be like, well, 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 look who we have here. That's a joke, because she can't see, though. Because she's blind. Hello. <laughs> now look at her eyes, bro. She's lying. She's lying to him. She's lying to him. That's what i I never lost trust in my girl Zuli a single time, never once. Not one time. Legalized nuclear bombs. Huh? I'm here to save my family. Well, you gotta do that to do that though. Will be mostly empty then. True. True. Bro was insanely big brain. He used about all his he used about all his brain power for that one thought. Can I talk to you? And you're gone. Don't care. <laughs> Maybe you should go to the spirit realm to talk to the spirit. So Perhaps, maybe. You're a real sensitive instructor. I did <laughs> a lot of ben. Pretty. Maybe you do. Toph is low key jelly. Hey, I'm blind, <laughs> not deaf. So here's something. Lynn still hates her fucking mom. Who's Lynn's dad? Oh, Lafard. And okay. <laughs> Lynn, I can feel okay. You have to say, and let's get it over with. Sue and get it over with? Yeah, well, Lynn have different dads, right? Kanto had to go get the milk for the rest of your life. Forgive me for what, bro? And not Lynn. My dad is here again. I remember why we stopped talking. God damn. And when I tell you, you don't care. God damn. Toph literally does not give a singular. Fuck. Toph said. <gasps> I do not hold it. Care. <laughs> like, holy shit. Copy that. We're going in. Go, 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 go. Tough low key, a bum ass mom. Bro, shut up, dude. Okay. We'll get you out one at a time. Come on. Okay. <laughs> the way Bowen's smile disappeared, dude. The way his smile disappeared. 
Bro was like, wait a minute. <laughs> he was, wait a damn minute. There's no way it could have just fallen out. Zuli's being sussy. Uh oh. Kubi are kind of smart. Kubi are kind of smart though. Bro, you kept it on your body. She kept it on her body. To me, and I gave you a chance at greatness. Why did she keep it? In the target town. And the holy shit, bro, about to get erased. Eradicated. No, no. Just Bro. Just leave me. I'll stay here. Leave his ass, dude. Sorry, but I have to do this. He's gonna, he's gonna scream, Amy. <laughs> Bro, sad do a flip. Bro, shut up, dude. It's always some lame bozy. You're a grown man, bruh. You're a whole adult. I want to see that town destroyed. RP Julie. God damn. Even a simple fire bending is so dangerous, but you forget because it gets easily erased by like the avatar bending, the metal bending. You know, fire bending actually hasn't been that big of a threat in Korra. It's always been water for the most part and earth. No, oh, water and air and not earth. The city somehow. Bolin, no. Jeez. Common Bolin dub. Let's go, baby. I always believed in Julie. You guys get out of here. Julie. I have to go with Bolin. You're an airbender. Just fly over there. Give him the oppa. I told you never to call me that. Well, I guess some things just haven't changed. <laughs> she got, she's got more and more stubborn. <laughs> Look at the jellyfish. Burly and Dick have a real. Sandshrew. Please listen to me. Since I they said, oh, 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 I don't see no one in there. I know you felt the effects of Kavira cutting like down carrot. the vines. That bro now is the time for you on some shit. It's, time for you to it's as a weapon in a human war. Facts. The answer is no. The answer is no. On that note, Wait. peace. <laughs> like, no, bro. I, I, I don't get it twisted and make me th and, and then assume that I just hate core and I'm a fucking misogynist. I hate all women. Don't make those kind of leaps and jumps. She merged the human and spirit realm to live together, not to use the spirits to protect humans against other humans. They didn't fuck with humans in the first place. She saw one's backstory like me. That's why they separated them in the first place because the spirits and the humans cannot act right with each other. Now that they're together, leave them alone. Don't care. There goes your sister. Bro, holy Jesus. Holy damn. Oh my goodness. Oh my damn. Oh my goodness. They're going ham. The sound design, I, I, I crunch. I like that. Lin and Suka went crazy. Oh, the old black fit too. Oh my goodness. Oh my damn. I'm not Andrew Hates. Oh my goodness. Oh my damn. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, you see that? Well, that's not very smart though, because now Kuvira can bend that. But holy. Sh the. Ah! For she's going insane. Oh my god. So. So. Yeah, that was the part where they she bended her, I think. Dude, ah, damn. Bro, Sue put up a better fight than Korra. Holy shit. See, if Korra was 100% in her mental game, she could have at least done that with metal bending alone. Maybe not that proficient, obviously, but she could have done some metal bending shit. Oh my goodness. Oh my damn. They're going ham. I learned today that ham means hard as a motherfucker. So when they said they're going ham, they're going hard as a motherfucker. I did not know that. And Kubia's hair gets down. She... I knew she never leave. She always be doing that, bro. She always be being a bit sussy. That's how Toph said. She just wanted to scold her a little bit and dip. Thanks for coming to save us, Mom. Oh my yeah. goodness. Thanks, Chief. I'm <laughs> I just realized Chief is another one of those words that got ruined from ruined to me. They ruined it. This this the internet ruined it for me. Just like daddy and mommy. No, 
I never had any family. Why, bro? Why, bro? <laughs> why, bro? Hitting the with them made me realize how special. Bolin is just a slightly less. He's just like a slightly less on the spectrum than like Wu. That's the only difference between them two. They're kind of similar. That's worked his way out of the polar bear dog house. God. Yeah. Ah, uh, damn! They thought it could not be done. They thought he did not have any riz. They thought he was in an unrizable moment. Two weeks! Two weeks in three episodes! We're almost done with fucking Korra! Dude, that, that Sue fight was actually insane. Sue went crazy. You know, it wasn't the smartest move, but she was just in the moment. It wasn't the smart move to wrap, to wrap yourself around a bending metal or uh, a, a, an element that your enemy can bend. But it was still cool, though. What am I doing? No, my. Oh, yeah! We're almost done with court. And you know what? I'm kind of sad about that. I cannot lie. It's like, it's, it's, it makes me feel like, you know, sometimes it should be that way. On the precipice of history. For the past precipice. Three That's how you know you've been when you say precipice. Side by side to unite the Earth Empire. And we've they all have the exact no same haircut. Earth Empire land and formed the United oh, brother. The so she wants to take over the to Republic the too. City will be she wants to go Republic City too. Oh, it ain't even that big. It literally ain't even worth it. By your side, I love you, Kuvira. Oh, Crane! Shut your bitch ass up with your lame ass haircut. Chamberlain gonna ass. She gonna betray his ass. Emily's. Eighteen. There are Bro. In this city. He's not wrong. Here. What's with you interrupting my important meetings all the time? Shut your bitch up. No, you. You're okay. So sorry Two. <laughs> I pretended to be loyal to Kuvira so I could Lee Loki Godin. How mandatory. We're on it. Don't worry. Mr. Okay, Roger. like couldn't they just metal bend the rails if they have extra metal? Or or I don't know how but you know what I'm saying? Says it. I'm busy inspiring my workers. Well, Facts. I mean, this is Guess who else we found? Ha! Julie! Julie. Name a more yeah, iconic duo. Their... Please let me go first. I know I there, she kind of thick. Look at her hamstrings. God. The chance to see you again and tell you the truth. Jeez. Anyway, w couple. So on yourself. W couple. Accepted. Okay. Now well. be a good assistant and man the assembly line. Get back. No. Oh. I'm not anymore. If you want me around, you need to start treating me like an Jeez. equal. Jeez. Facts queen. Facts queen. Every king needs his queen, Varric. Oh. Time to upgrade her. In on the emergency broadcast line. You're going out to everybody. Everybody else is still working the factory on the assembly line, but she's your queen now. For all citizens, please find your evacuation. Why did they give subsection one Mako. There you will find initial instructions. Why did they make entrance of the Southern Water Tribe Library? Why not somebody more authority like the leader is specified in section one dash the president? Use calls from all over the city. I think Mako is starting to panic. <laughs> yeah, this is just what we need. I got this. Oh god, brother. I know you're all a little scared. Believe me. Is this his main character like moment? To go to the bathroom by myself. But if we let that fear okay. control us, none of us will ever be able to go to the bathroom. Shut and your bitch ass up, dude. And sound. I'll always be safe and sound. Boo 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 boo. Bro did not make any sense, bro. He just he was just a hype man. Yeah. Facts. Where's the baby at? Did they forget they had a baby? And she was pregnant, right? Facts. Where's the baby that was before time skip? And where's the the fetus? They ate the baby. So true. Not important details. Yeah, but like, I kind of want to see them growing up. Rohan's with the acolytes. They have the boat ready oh, to is that Rohan? I don't know his name. Is Rohan the baby? Oh, Rohan's the baby. Okay. What about the baby that was the fetus? Because was it wasn't she pregnant and she had a like a like a, a literal baby? So is he fucking crazy? I know Iroh can go toe to toe with Kuvira. No, she, no, she was weapon. pregnant and she had a baby. Y'all are gaslighting me. Hold up, let me look this up. Wait, he does have four? I thought she was pregnant. And she had a little tiny baby. Pregnant in season one, baby in book two and three. Oh! They're a week early. You sussy baka. They're a week early. Boy. What the hell is that? 
Holy shit. God damn. They have a mobile one. It's not even on the rail. Holy shit. That's actually strong as fuck. Wait, it's, it's a mecha anime now. Apparently on a giant mecha suit. <laughs> Literally a mecha anime now. How do they even make that? Bison up ahead. The Avatar. <laughs> Wait, you think you're going to shoot down a flying bison? Holy. Holy shit. She actually almost fucking sniped them. Yeah, imagine if Frankie or Uso or Luffy or Chopper saw that. Bima! That shit's actually fucking insane. They're praying for fucking war with the big ass mecha that could destroy the city in like one shot. This is kind of ridiculous. Like, how did they even build this shit? Holy. Oh, wow. Well, that was kind of a. Wow. Oh, yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah, she's just one of the fucking boats. Oh, that's all the B. That's all the. This is made of the iron domes. Then you get a metal bender over there and bend the giant. Surrender. Republic City is yours. Damn. That was. Easy as fuck. Yeah, they're fucked. <laughs> yeah, they, they just Watch completely lost. See, we capture him and get him to talk. I don't think they have the time for that big money. We'll need a stealth team of airbenders to get in and out of the tar Bro, about to kidnap her wife, her husband, Jinora her hubby. Kai. Being as silent as possible. And your farts are just. <laughs> <laughs> I can be quiet. Bro, literally cannot help himself. Okay, point taken. Bro just has to shit. They had to put him out of the plot. Because he would have just been too strong. He would have sold Kavira himself. Is everyone ready? He would have just called me the whole mecha giant. I can't blame him. You really can't blame him. Jump his ass. Oh. Oh. Damn. They did have the time for that. They fucking kidnapped him. Holy shit! I cannot lie, I was not expecting that. God damn! God damn! You won't hurt me. Hurt him. I know an empty threat when I hurt him. One. Hurt him! Was this your best? Bro just had to prove him right. Why did she prove him right? Lost. Only you have an exception. I know an empty threat when I see one. Break his fucking nerdy ass glasses. I was gonna say teeth, but my mind went to glasses for some reason. Yeah! Beat his fucking ass, bro. At least let him know you're not a pussy, y'all fum. Like slit his wrist and let him bleed out like a pig. Where is he? Uh, I'm not really. Get his balls on a wooden plank and get a nail. And nail around them on the sack and then put one right on the ball. I know you set out to help better the world, but this is and then start slowly it's digging it in. To us. And we're taking it back. Fillet him alive. I'm sorry. When you left Zalfu, Bro for sure got mommy issues. Kuvira is my family now. Bro is what's he whipped? I'm going to make it my life's mission. Okay. To never let you see the one you love again. Okay. Okay, dude. I'm captured. <laughs> my airship was ambushed and I was taken by force. <laughs> Cora, you injured? I'm fine. Then the get fucked. Yes, everyone is here. She doubled not for sure. Public city, the Avatar will never let me see you again. Is this just a PG way of saying no killer? No kill him? Let's go back home and get married. You better see where her priorities lie. We're together for the rest of our lives. You better see where her priorities you lie, motherfucker. Oh god damn. Guys, she must have our location. Oh god damn. Right at us. She about to kill them all. She wouldn't. <laughs> oh shit. God damn. Kuvira said, you sussy baka. No. Keep the press. You sussy baka. Rip Batar Bozo. 
LMFAO. Bro thought he was somebody. Took Kuvira. LMAO. Plot thickens. Hopefully, Batar died. <laughs> Chamber built ass. All right. Mecha Kuvira moment. They all survived that. Dude, that thing is crazy. It's got some nice cake though, I cannot lie. For now, we'll think of some way to come back and be her. What about all But Lynn could have his main character moment if he like lavas her feet. He's not letting her conquer Republic City. The world is Republic City needs your help. We take down that giant today. Hey. Glad to see you all made it out. Common win W. Sue, you take Batar Jr and the rest of the Batar Jr. Settle down. The train should be returning to pick us up. Last time I saw a train scene was invincible, bro. Everybody's liking fuck. Listen everyone. I can get us out of here. Prince Wu, the go. The bench please. It's a little crowded up here. Sure. I'm only the conductor. Not the important people on the bench, okay, conductor? I can handle anything. <laughs> Milo's actually. It's funny because his head is shaped like Tyler Woods. I just got an idea how to beat the giant. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. Kavira is the definition of nerd glasses emoji. I hate her. Also, I hate this mech. I think this mech is kind of cringe. Like my brother in Christ, you're summoning the wrath of Abijudama and Naruto. I mean, and, and Avatar. Abijudama is uh, the nine tail beast bomb for Naruto, by the way. Like, like God of the fucking damn! Like, look at this shit. <laughs> Why is this so big? I get that a lot, but <laughs> not me. Fucking Milo. What's bro doing? Bro, go oob like a near. Why did we not think of that sooner? Fucking paint the windows. Clear the glass. <laughs> Clear the glass. Clear the glass. Bro. Like, if I would. Okay, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna talk to for long because the period is the music is going crazy and stuff. But like, if I was a villain, like if I was just actually trying to take somebody over, I wouldn't be like. I don't know. That sounds goofy as fuck. Clean the glass. Like, bro, that sounds kind of cringe. I'd be like, bro, get this shit off the fucking glass so we can see, motherfuckers. Use the goddamn water bending. Let's go. Give yeah, action after this because this could be huge. This is what I said. I said to do that. Bo is listening to me. Cora haters are. I mean. Hey, haters are seething right now because Core is actually listening to me. I mean, Bolin is. The writers took my advice. I literally said that. I, it is funny how they were like, how do we take out this mother massive robot? And then they use the most like elementary techniques of all time. Like this shit is straight out of like fucking Scooby-Doo. Wrap his feet, but paint the window so they can't see. Like, <laughs> She resorted to just mass destruction. Kama Kuvira L. But Korra's going crazy. How? 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 Oh, I, I guess. God damn. Yeah, like I'm just sitting here wondering. I guess this is why I'm not in a military strategic position, but like if I was Korra, they got that close to the glass face. They could have just went in there and fucked Kuvira up. Korra could have, because she's got her PTSD down and shit, right? Opal got no diffed. Bro, how did she miss that much? God damn, like these guys should be dead. But what the fuck are they doing? Kuvira's troops are headed this way. That's, that's literally right to TV in like five years. Wait, hold on a minute. Maybe I'm using too many of my brain cells. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't Mount Mako here? 
Mako was with them, right? That motherfucker got lightning bending. Lightning, platinum conducts lightning. She could just electrocute all the motherfuckers. My brain cells are massive. They're average. On average, dude, I do not give a fuck. Don't even play this sad ass music. Fuck this chamber looking ass motherfucker, bro. Fuck him. Betrayed you. The whole family. Who cares? Vera, and she just fired that weapon at me. Oh my god. How could she do that? They always say what no pussy does to motherfucker. She's a complicated person. But I see what pussy does do to motherfucker, and it can be worse. Actually works, sir. I know I can stop the mecha suits with a chamber at home. Pulse, that I can stop a giant mecha suit with a giant. Now finally we get some W moments in core with Varric. Let's really? go. I've been thinking. Okay. I'm always thinking, sir. True and real. Yes, but lately I've been thinking about you. God. Ah, no! oh, oh. Things I should tell you. There are. I oh God, now. The boy. It was before the circus people took me away. Circus anyway, people. Huh? You'll have to finish your story later. Kuvira's troops are in range. <sighs> I thought I was gonna get a confession. Oops. EMP? They got EMPs in Gora? Yes, dead in their tracks. I told y'all, common Varric W. But of course it don't work against the mechanical Mike Wazowski. I'm afraid there are no more things to do. Oh, well. Down the mecha suits, but our power source is fine. What is your power source? What is their power source to not be EMP? Spirit Vine energy. I'm sorry. Spirit Vine energy also powers the legs. Dad? Bro, how is he free? I figured we need all the geniuses we can get our hands on. Okay. We can throw them back in. I know what you all must think of me. All right. I love Republic City. And I would do anything. How do your glasses stay on with no like an infection? Well, break the skin and attack the vital. How do they do that? one on the mech suit. But the saws are way too big. We'd oh my god. Use it on the moth one. What happens to mosquitoes that land on me? I squash them. So real. Badger moles dig in holes. Yeah. Hey. I run away from the river today, although I do still think she's pretty. Gang. Oh, come on, bro. That's true. We have not had an equivalent of secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. No. Future Industries Tower. No. What? What? Slow it down. Let's go. Who's up at 3 a.m. Cutting their power? Play with their robussy. <laughs> Anyone up at 3 a.m. playing with that robussy? Let's go! Alright. Avatar mode's still hard. Just like me for real. Like, bro. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Why is it so insane? OST is crazy. She lost her avatar eyes immediately. Kill here. Like, they have no people outside guarding the mecha? Bro, where the... Holy shit! God damn! <laughs> what the f... Ew! Made you hate yourself, LMAO? Okay. It's inferred that they hit the tower, I guess. Surpass your limits below! Bro is actually strong for a, what, a five-year-old? Boss fire. Earth bending still one of the coolest bendings, I cannot lie. Yeah! Yeah! Okay! Okay! It's gotta be destroyed now, right? Me, me when the robussy is sturdy. Me win. I like the badger moles. They cool. I wish we could have seen the badger moles train. Yeah, that bro with the that bros. <laughs> bro, shut up. So true. Yeah. Take me to Kavira. Yeah. Business with her. <laughs> okay. 
I have to. But before I go, <laughs> I'd like to say, don't respect the bro. Yeah. You don't respect me. Yeah. Oh, no, what no, the no, fuck no, is that? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's that zesty ass pose. Don't know what you're talking about. So true. God damn. Skill difference. Oh, yeah. Skill I issue. I want to pet your snout. Yo. So y'all think Badger, some Badger moles know how to metal bin? Y'all think some Badger moles know how to lava bin? Because like, what if they're just digging through the earth and they run into like an iron ore vein, like a Minecraft, they can metal bend it away. I love you, Dad. Bro, I'm LMAOing right now. I do not care about her or her father. I have no emotional connection to either one of them. Yes. Damn. Julie, been fine. Need to attach this ring to my what the fuck? What the hell? The thing for the rest of our lives. Do the thing, bro. God, the Riz is insane. The indomitable Riz. God damn! Let's go, bro. Segway was insane. It was better than Mogul Mail. The Segway was insane. Before we take off. Attached to. Yeah. Oh yeah. Attach this. <laughs> A middle finger emoji. Will you do the thing for the rest of our lives? Do the thing? What does he mean? The green is fire. Ah, mm. oh, motherfucking damn. Crazy. It's crazy. They went from like literally, we're not even dating. Like literally, we're like at best in a toxic friendship and we like kind of hate each other, but also we kind of don't. We just be fucking around to like straight up like, hey, bitch, you're mom forever. Period. And vice versa. Exactly how I always pictured our engagement. God damn. W fucking the indomitable Riz. I don't know how this thing is still up. It's gotta just be up for plot because like in real life, we all know machinery be like I can not hold the din anymore. And that shit breaks. These OSTs are absolutely insane though. Goofy ass. Like, how does this thing fly? It's a little, it's a little skeeter. Look at that thing. Protect it. I gotta get out of here. What's stopping them from just like cutting off the joint, the like, getting in the joint area? Like, you see, like, like right here. Why don't they just like go in there? Just. Like, you know what I'm saying? Slip that bitch up. It got wings so he can fly. True. Why did I not think of that? Damn! What? How? That was fucking fire. Hang that bitch. Put that boy in a bird. Put that boy in a bird. They're cutting in. More power. No way they're going to get more power out of their fucking butthole, bro. I'm rooting for the good guys. You can't do that. I don't like that. I'm not a fan of that. Bro. Well, somebody. What? God damn! Holy shit! There's our opening. <laughs> God damn! Just a skill issue. Bro legitimately died. See, this ties into what I said earlier where when I said I don't give a fuck about him, I meant I don't give a fuck about him. You wanted to redeem his character at the last possible second. Like he was a piece of shit scumbag for the entire series until like a few a few seconds here, him and Salami met up again while he was in prison. Don't give a fuck. And now he's here. Don't give a fuck. And then he died. Don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's just a skill, skill issue, to be honest. What he actually died? Yeah, I, mean, I guess if bro could survive that, bro belongs in the goddamn Avengers. But yeah, that was uh, the second to last episode. I ain't switching up. I'm ending Korra the same way I feel about Korra. I'm enjoying the rest of book four. I think it's hella goofy with this final boss and final villain with it being a massive mecha. Oda would never. Who's going to tell him one of the straw hats is that? <laughs> 
I'm, I'm enjoying Korra. Korra is still like a, like book four is like a solid seven out of 10 for me. Six out of 10 so, so far. We'll see how it ends. It's the last episode of Korra book four. Will they all die? Like Salami's dad. What does skill difference? Let's find out. The ending of book four, baby. Let's go. Is that a, that's a lava blade. That's so cool. That's so fire. A lava saw. Oh, that's so cool. That's my favorite. That's one of my favorite moves in the whole series now. That lava fucking like disc. Like, holy shit, dude. And fridge door. What if that, what if like all those just explode? God damn. Work. The outside may be I like the way she looks. What's y'all's favorite bending? The weapon's loading mechanism has malfunctioned. We're unable to fire. It's no uh, well, all the bending is my favorite, I think. Especially with that, like, that disc. Shut I up. The the LMA, oh, dude! So you're gonna rip off the whole arm? No way. <laughs> what the f was that? Mom bending, real. They got whiplash for sure. Soccer style back bending. Cannot cap. That is one of the best. Okay, Cora. Spit yo, sh queen. It's girl boss time. Is that metallic? I mean mercury. What is this? Like liquid. Okay. Okay. Choreography. A little bit of choreography. Okay. Okay. Uh. Uh. What? No, brother. No, brother. She's losing again. God, you know how bad that she's got to hurt? She broke solid ass metal. Unless she used her metal bending to break her fall. Dude, the lava disc is so fire. Why have we not seen more of this lava bending? Look at that. That's so cool. Bro looks like a... Bro looks like a Star Wars. So this is the engine and they're going to stop the engine, but they can't stop the engine. But if they all go jump Kuvira's bitch ass, then she can't control it anyway. <laughs> Legalize nuclear bombs. See, like, why are you trying to spare? Look at him. I like his... Real and true. I'm doing this. So get out of here. Why do they care about saving okay. the conductors? I love you. I love you. Dab me up. No Bro's about to legalize nuclear bombs. Bro's gonna fucking die. This is the first time he's really using like lightning bending. Like really, really using it. It was just like book two, one or two. That's fucking fire. Lightning bending is so cool. Jesus. God damn. God damn. Bro got zapped. Holy shit, that was sick. That might have been when, when Zuko redirected the lighting with his dad. Is this bro good though? Like, I don't think it'd be. Like, lighting pretty dangerous. Cool choreography. She ain't even using avatar mode. Slow mo! Slow mo! Bitch! Bitch! I was expecting a punch, but that was that was a weird slow mo for okay, I guess. She also like hurt herself with that. That was supposed to lay the smackdown, but no <laughs> fuck Cora. See you later! <laughs> Holy shit, dude! Legalized nuclear bombs. Incredibly rare Mako W. I don't know if he's okay from that. And then she saves her because we need to save our enemy. Not saying this is like a. Call off your army and surrender to President I'm not. I'm not saying that's like a dig decor. Like I, I'm always annoyed with that kind of shit. Just like in all shows, obviously. Like in One Piece, there's like a super bad villain, and like they don't die at the end i'm like bro he should fucking perish like she come on boy salami's dad i don't remember his name then <laughs> she's still kicking old cora's ass Stop. and she's making like a flea and fleeing 
We're like Naruto, yeah. Like, the motherfucker should die. Die, bitch. Maybe she can die. Maybe my hope's not over. I'm gonna hold, hold out. What is she finding now? What is she doing now, man? <laughs> what? No way! God damn! No way that still functions. <laughs> Holy shit! Is using the whole forest? What? Legalized nuclear bombs. No way it's using the whole forest, dude. <laughs> what? This is worse than Bug 2. It's a fucking nuclear bomb. All of book four so far, Korra's airbending has been so weak. She can't win against a one bending motherfucker. And now she's holding off point blank. The beginning of a nuclear explosion. God damn, what is happening? What was the air? What was she doing? Bending the fucking spirit vines? Why should she do the whole fucking time in the first place? A portal? My what the hell, my New spirit portal. <laughs> what? Energy bending, and she chose not to do that. I don't know the entire last half of this book. For what reason? He's alive. With lightning to the fucking heart. Where is she? Oh, she dead? But what? But what? But what? Ah uh, yes, they went to the spirit realm. Why would you save my life? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I see a lot of myself in you. Yes, we are. We're both fierce and determined. Me when I go to Hitler. We're not so different after all. I failed our class too. Me when I go to Hitler. We're both fierce and determined to succeed. I saw what you did to those Russians. What? Hey, that's too much. No, she's a fucking fascist. She's a she's a Earth Kingdom supremacy. Huh? She's a fucking fascist. You can't just say that like, oh, Kim Jong-un the second. You starved all your people and literally millions died. Children were growing maggots in their fucking eyeballs because they're deceased in the streets. But you're just so determined. You're so determined to succeed and defeat America. I am determined to become the number one YouTuber as well. Wasn't how I wanted things to end. Bring back book two. Bring back book two, bro. Bring back book two. You didn't say that when Naruto forgave Obito? Jeez, I don't know. It's almost as if they were drawing parallels with the entire series of how Kakashi is like a Nar is like a Sasuke who was good and Obito was a Naruto who went evil. They were drawing parallels the entire series, building it up, and here they're just like, you are determined like me, and I am also determined. Like, shut your bitch ass up, bro. I I also know what it feels like to be afraid. Yeah, so does everybody fucking else, bitch. Fuck. I don't get it. And that was always my least favorite part of Naruto too, was the talk no jutsu. Boy, what the hell? You were literally waxing her. She waxed Korra time and time and time again. I'm sorry for all the anguish I've caused you. And now you're sorry? At least double down and be a bitch to the end. Korra is too complex for the average mind. So real, dude. And my favorite part of book two, more portals. We gather today to celebrate the wondrous. Let's go. This is actually a huge W. Actually massive W. Let's go. Damn, it's really fine. True love is a fickle creature. Facts. Milo just like me for real. Not during this moment though. Sir Ichnick Blackstone Ichnick. Barrett, 
of the Blackstone. You're darn tootin I do. Let's go. Damn. This is actually fire. I like this a lot. Calluses on a bi-weekly basis isn't really that much. What? Calluses and all. Calluses and all. Do the thing. What? What? Okay. I guess. <laughs> They're getting pegged on the daily. If you could comb with a snap of your finger, would it improve or worsen or not change your life at all? Can I only comb with a snap of a finger? Is my follow up question. Because if I can only do it, then that would change my answer. Shit, groovy. Nah, just whenever you want. Okay, then in that case, I don't think it would help at all. I mean, I think it would help a little bit. But if it could only be when you snap, then that'd be good because you could just like hold out until you just boom. Do not invite me to no, go to no golf game though. Just be like, I don't know what they're doing golf. And they did the golf clap. What is this? Some pretentious like 19 fucking 50s celebration. Bro got struck in the heart with lightning. Awesome, Mako. Good to see you. Damn, my arm fucked or up. I like that fit from Cordo. Being lazy, I'm afraid of responsibility. Where did that come from? And had elected leaders like the United Republic. Didn't they already try that? And I'll do everything in my power to help you make that happen. Okay, woo. Comment woo W. Dance floor calls. I guess. The world more in a few years than most avatars did during their life. <laughs> for the for but the worst. <laughs> so much more I want to learn and do. Bro, so fuck Ang City, bitch. I could become more compassionate to others. I mean, or he'd just be an empath like me. Me an empath. Kuvira deserves no sympathy at all. It's so crazy. Korra and Salami are friends, by the way. I know I've been saying the whole series. Coming back sooner. You don't it's weird how she always says that to Salami. I guess they're girl bossing together though. On a vacation, just the two of us. Anywhere you want. Girl boss summer. Girl boss gate keep gaslight. Look at these creatures. That was a short term celebration. Wait. Are they ooh, ooh, ooh. Now, what did you mean by that? Now, what did you mean by that? I was like, oh, pretty peculiar friends holding hands. You know, usually I don't hold my homies' friends. I don't usually hold my homies' hands like that. But, you know, girls do be different girl bossing and going to the bathroom together all the time for some reason. At least that's how my sister and her friends work. That's how core ends. That's how core ends? Um, so am I oblivious? How the, when did they become a thing? When Cora cut her hair? When, do, when did this happen? This is another one of those moments where they're like, oh, by the way, we're going to go from no, no sign whatsoever at all of any relationship to relationship at the end of the series. I better clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Homophobia does not fly in this chat at all if you have an issue with the writing and being like there was no hint of it it's weird how they just threw them together at the end you could say that about Cora and mako being together no because they actually kind of had something sort of her and bolin i'm saying about the fact that i got no like tension between them whatsoever at all throughout the whole series it was just weird how she always wrote to asami which i guess is the hint I'm happy for them. Mako turned them both gay. <laughs> Mako's dick game was so unbelievably trash. They said we can do it better ourselves. <laughs> they, 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 uh, Mako, another Mako L. Let's just leave it at that. Mako was such a bad partner. The, the two people that he got with literally got together themselves once again mako w giving us the relationship we wanted i guess like literally i thought they were just going as homies until they like held hands i was like okay well that's fine girls i guess girls be doing that and then they like just like it was like okay friends 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 and then they went it's like okay we legalized nuclear bombs 
We had a marriage and we had a fire ending. Book four is not as bad as book two. I did not like it. It's on the same level as the concepts. It's just like, once you start getting into like huge, massive beings, it's just like my enjoyability goes down, especially when it's not, it's never been a, uh, it's an unprecedented thing in the entire series. So like you have Naruto, you have like, we had Kurama, we had Kurama. So a Kurama form of being huge made sense. I didn't like Naruto's Kurama form as much as his KCM forms, obviously. I didn't like, I don't like Sasuke's, uh, Susano as much as Sasuke himself throwing fucking hands. It's just not an enjoyable thing. When it's a mecha anime or a, an anime where massive things are fighting through and through like Gerd Lagan, it's fine. But when you like, when you start the series as, Hey, we're just some dudes who are just fucking bending elements to, by the way, here's a massive fucking robotic element that has the power of a nuclear bomb for some fucking reason. I'm like, bruh, my enjoyability just goes down. Not as bad as book two, and to end Korra off, at least I wasn't Janora. <laughs> we had to circle back to him. Uh, Korra as a series, book one, looking back at it, book one, eight out of 10. Book two, two out of 10. Book three, 8.5 out of 10. Book four, six out of 10. So overall, as a series, I guess I'd give Korra like a five out of, five out of 10 as a series because book two and book four brought it down so much. I mean, it's sad because they had so much potential. Like, they had so much potential for the series like, as a whole. And they just chose to go down the route of, like, super, super modernized, which I don't like at the beginning of book one anyway. Like, there's a difference. Like, I hate when series do that. Like, there's, there are levels, you know? You don't have to go from, like, bare bones, like, no technology in the world to, like, oh, my fucking God, nuclear bombs. Like, there are levels you can go to of technology that you don't have to, like you don't have to skip over like the big the, when you completely modernize an entire universe there's going to be repercussions for it especially when you do it kind of lazily and you just make everything oh we got the 1920s it's the 1920s now like it's weird i also don't like it in borto facts just like borto borto didn't have to go from we literally have not a singular car we have no technology we only have bendings and jutsus to make everything operate to once again, everything's super science-y and we have fucking robots and shit. Like shit just, you don't have to go there. There's steps in between to make it a little less of a radical change. And to begin with the radical change of adding a ton of elect electronics and modernization, I don't enjoy in the first place. It's switched genre almost facts. Yeah. And I mean, and that brings like the back to the whole point. Like if you think, if you as a writer, if you think you're like, damn, bro, like I literally, I cannot think of anything to make. I cannot think of a villain to make this series more bad, or I cannot, I cannot think of a villain without going mecha and going like super modernized. Make a book about the past. Bored Naruto. The instead of a sequel if we had a prequel to naruto with minato and all the beloved characters we already know i mean maybe i'm biased because that's how i like it that's how i'm in every series i'm always interested in not the current generation that i know i'm always interested more in the previous generation i don't know why that's how i'm in real life too so like i'm more interested in minato and kakashi's dad we could have had a whole series on kakashi's dad a whole like arc on kakashi's dad and how he how his interpersonal relationships form kakashi today and his mindset and why he fucking did what he did and killed himself and the the what kind of person he was to bring that upon himself the previous avatars obviously that's, that's a gimme the previous avatars are a give me you know how cool it would have been to see a young tsunade young kakashi young Jiraiya Orochimaru seeing a little baby like little tiny baby Minato and how Orochimaru for example Orochimaru and Tsunade would go and look at a little baby Orochimaru or little baby Minato and be like this is your pupil Minato and how me or Kakashi and how Kakashi not Kakashi Jiraiya and how Jiraiya chose Minato and why he did would that be better than Boruto to me yeah Juan's backstory could have been flushed out in like a whole book. They could have made Juan's backstory an entire book. So, I mean, that's just like me as a person. I'm just talking about like my tendencies and stuff. So maybe it's not fair to compare. But I mean, start that, my whole point was starting out core as a series being super modernized. I wasn't really that big of a fan of in the first place. And I think that led to them 
having to be like, well, it's already modernized. Let's just make more modernized villains with the fucking mecha and the fucking super explody shit. Like they could have made the whole spirit vines and shit explode without a super advanced technology, without having a super big mecha. They could have had a once in a lifetime energy bender that was not an avatar bend the spirit energy. You know what I'm saying? That's just my opinions on it. That's in the book four. A lot of those shit posting, that's just my personality. That's just how it is. And people are not going to like it. People, people may like it. If people want to just see me meet write a series and they're not going to like me as a person, they should not watch me. That's just how it is. Because I give my opinions and I don't fucking sugarcoat shit. So, you know, that's it. Peace.